This screencast is going to look at the elasticity of um, demand on the demand curve and also, again, explaining one more time about why demand and marginal revenue are not equal to one another. So when we look here at the demand curve and the marginal revenue curve, remember if we were properly labeling this, it would be demand equals average revenue equals price. Um, the reason that the marginal revenue curve is less than the demand curve is because they're a price maker, and when you're a price maker, in order to increase your output, you have to lower the price. And you not only lower the price for the next unit, but you lower the price for all previous units. And so as output increases, the price lowers for all previous units. And so that's why your marginal revenue curve is less than your demand curve. And when we're looking here at this marginal revenue curve, what we can see is that at some point it's going to hit zero here, and then it's going to become negative from it. And based off of that, you can look and figure out the different elasticities of demand that we talked about in Unit 2. So the one to really look at here is when marginal revenue equals zero. When marginal revenue equals zero, you draw a line straight up until it hits the demand curve. And that is where unit elasticity is. Everything to the left, the, all of the quantities prior to that, um, are elastic. And everything to the right of unit elasticity, that number of outputs, has an inelastic demand. And so some of the things to remember about that is the relationship then from the total revenue test with elasticity and total revenue. And what you can see here is that total revenue is maximized where unit elasticity is. That is why it would never make sense for a monopoly to produce in the inelastic region. Because up until this point here, you have it where total revenue is going up and up and up, and then it's hit its peak, and then down here is where total revenue is going to decrease. This does not say total profit. So I'm not saying that this is the profit maximizing output. Rather, all I am saying, because we don't know anything about the cost curves and what they look like, all I am saying is that total revenue is maximized where unit elasticity exists. And you find unit elasticity where marginal revenue equals zero, and you bring it up to it. All the units um, prior to unit elasticity have an elastic demand, so as price goes down, total revenue goes up. And all the units after unit elasticity have an inelastic demand, so as price goes down, total revenue goes down also.